Hey, many fish. 26th of January, 2018. And I have some things that have been revealed to me here, I believe, that I want to share with you. I uh, just got to give you a brief description here of how I came to it. Um, typically, in the morning, I will do my little things here and there, and then I'll eventually sit down and I'll go over the headlines and you know I typically pray on things and, and see what the father wants me to focus on for the day and what I can do you know give me my charge for the day basically and typically I can go through just drudge alone and pull out multiple things to illustrate the wickedness the the absolute horror that's just manifesting in the world and at the same time we could point out the prophetic uh, time that we're in and try and get people to understand that they need <laughs> a savior that nothing in their power is going to save them from the darkness that is encompassing the earth because that's what's happening and the ones who deny it you know i feel bad i really do but what can you say so i'm looking over all these articles and i'm just becoming overwhelmed almost right away just there's so much there's just so much i mean you have irish priests begging for more exorcists to help them with the amount of uh uh, uh, demonic possessions you got the google speaker thing here google home doesn't know who jesus is it tells you he's a fictional character you got george soros at davos same place as trump uh just i mean this is just flat out war amongst these people this guy is trying to raise an army against our president no matter what you feel about him i mean that is just insane and one more thing i gotta point out that i saw this morning that's just insane and i'll leave a link to his channel um mike on point preparedness about this sweet jesus ice cream this has uh, really hit the pinnacle of um, blasphemy. The horns, the, the purple kids, that it's just, I mean, use caution when you're going to this site, if you go. I will leave a link. Mike at On Point Preparedness did a, a brief video. He couldn't even sleep. It sickened him, as it does me. But this is what we have to show this is what the world is bringing forth is this what you want so so this is what i'm dealing with and i'm like oh father my I, i'm starting to become too filled up here i need something to focus on and and just like that little kind of dream i had not too long ago with the blue and the red squares making the purple this came to me kind of like like i heard it you know I, I I always have just hundreds of things going on, and but I still feel at peace. That's the crazy part. I'm I'm always at peace. But anyways, I hear this. He did. I hear it. Go to Jerusalem News. Go to Israel News. So you know the first site I go to is Haaretz. You know you don't get more Israeli news than that, right? And the first article is this here the issue that finally forced russian speaking israelis to take to the streets the community is vowing to take revenge on prime minister netanyahu in the next election for a new law passed that will keep most israel's store shut on shabbat revolt is in the air now they passed a law they actually passed a law um in israel regarding um shabbat and the people are not liking it and i'm trying to find the article here this is what happens this is one of them here but there's several here's one here they they even have 
their own people, the Jewish people, are going out and fining other Jewish people for opening their stores. They're enforcing this Shabbat law, which was put into effect on January 9th. Okay? That's just crazy because when I saw this, you know, it didn't really strike me, but I was led immediately to go back and look at Ron Wyatt. Okay? And this is the last interview that he did. It was on the phone as he was dying, really. And um, I need you to listen to just like 30 seconds of this, okay? Listen, listen carefully. said Sunday law and he just interpreted it as the mark of the beast but it's not it's Sunday law now granted this is Israel and this is Shabbat but think about it is this some kind of precursor is this some kind of harbinger because this is being enforced and he said when the Sunday law is enforced that's when the ark and the blood of the Messiah will be revealed shortly thereafter, not necessarily when the law is enforced, but this is being enforced. You have basically policing going on and fining business owners for opening their doors on Shabbat. So to me, that really kind of illustrates uh, a Sunday law. I mean, it's just the way it's come upon me to share this with you. And, you know, let's not forget, I mean, back a while back, not too far, but I was doing some, some checking around as to Ron Wyatt's, you know, discoveries and whatnot. And he discovered this arc, and he makes it very clear that he discovered it on January the 6th, 1982. That's when he discovered it. And I went in, and I put that date in. And I brought it up to the date of the opening of this synagogue. December 19th. As well as the uh, incense burning for the first time in 2,000 years at the temple. Same exact day. And, you know, my spirit tells me that this right here is an abomination they have rebuilt the ark and this is literally in the temple mount under the holy of holies and the hands of men have built this ark which i would call an abomination hidden in plain view and this is something this is very significant i'm not exactly sure what but it's just come upon me to give it to you for your consideration we could throw it on the table there and see what sticks. And, and I just know in my spirit that this means something. I just, I, I know it. That that date, from the discovery of that ark until that very, very significant ritual here. This is so significant. And it relates directly to the ark. Directly. 13, 13, 13. That is no accident. And the fact that it's just 44 days later to the blue blood moon is also very telling and there's a myriad of things in between before and after but this is the primary thing that i was moved to share with you is mr wyatt stated that the angel that spoke to him said when the sunday law is enforced the ark and the blood of the messiah will soon be revealed that's what he said so why I was led 
to go to Jerusalem News, which I do frequent, but I was not aware of this, that this is actually now a law. Okay? And people aren't happy about it. But I look at this as a precursor, a harbinger, however you want to look at it. But we are in the thick of it, folks. We are definitely in the thick of it. And things are moving fast. You need to stick close and cleave to Jesus. You need it. So I had to share that with you. You all have a wonderful day. Okay? Peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God,